Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to Empires of the Undergrowth. Last time we left off, we had the best extremist level we think we've ever had. We got up to the final level, and when you, like, final, final level, it straight up said final wave on it, and we're like, oh, and then we got completely annihilated. So, you know, that that's a thing. Um, this time around, they still haven't gotten the story up and out yet, so instead what we're going to do is we're just going to make a custom game. And we're going to set ourselves up as the Gene Thieves on medium difficulty. We don't, we don't know what that one is for. And uh, it's going to be on the embankment like before, because we actually like the embankment, we felt. Uh, and uh, uh, just uh, scale with colony and uh, landmarks. Oh, yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, so last time we had all of the... All of the lovely woodcutters. And now we are going to have these things. And they will be called... Uh, and they will be called... Shylonia. Bam. The Shylonia... Something or other. I don't know. It's too early for this. They will be... What will they be? Black ants? No, black is too basic. We need to have them be green ants. Yes. Uh... I mean, Golden Empire, we guess. Question mark? Like... Eh. Eh. Let's go. We should, like, look at the workshop or something for this sometime, because realistically we don't think we ever have... If there is a workshop, we, we don't know. There's, there's probably a workshop in this kind of game. Just rolling in on the rainforest with Gene Thieves. Oh yeah, she definitely looks very the great. The queen has raised her first brood. These loyal subjects will lay the foundation of what could one day be a great subterranean empire. What, one day will be a great subterranean empire, you mean? Yeah, we know. It's cool, isn't it? Alright, so we're just gonna build this here food, like you do. Right now we're extremely insulated, and thus relatively safe. We'll even get rid of that one. Then we'll tell them to go here, where they'll get food and bolster the rest of the colony very quickly. Yes, good. All right. What kind of food are we dealing with here? Bam. We do not need these things. We have played plenty of this game. Just gonna sloop up. On this one, we're actually going to try to insulate our food stores and have them as far back as possible. Just as kind of like a little testy deal, like we do. Really just entrench everything. As far back as it allows, which is to here. In the meanwhile, it's the other way around now.
and we're going to make some more critters. Really? It's going to be like that, huh? Okay, here we go. Boop. Now they'll take care of that. As we plop out two more of these. That should be taken care of with relative ease. You don't have anything to do anymore. Alright, let's see what's on the outside. Death. Just near constant sweeping death. And a fish, though. There's also a fish. So let's try to get the fish, because we love delish fish, as opposed to dying. Always a preference. And well, we'll just put these fish stores back here. Food stores might be all the way back, but it'll be worth it, ladies. Well worth it if you can keep from getting completely annihilated, which, as usual, is never the case. So why would it be? Why would it be? Always gotta fight with somebody, don't we? Don't worry, though. We got it all figured out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. There they go. Carrying little... Carrying little bits behind. All the way back. Look at them go. Carrying things to the back. Carrying things. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, we really get ourselves sometimes. Such a dad joke. Alright, that's gonna be our thing, our load up. This will be the food chamber. Yes, sir. This is how we roll. All right, go on back. You fight off any enemy that gets near. find it interesting that they, like, just physically don't have any other... This is where your nest would be, but it's just filled up, and we're all like, well, that's kind of dumb. We'd like to attack other nests, please. Thank you. Good. Good. Just three more. Yes, ladies, go on out. It's cool. The colony is starving. There's not It'll enough be fine. food to feed the new brood. It will end up fine, at least. Probably. Gather up first. It's okay if we lose a little bit of fish. We just can't be losing the whole fish. Oh, that's funny. Okay, go. Move at once. Take care of that one. Whilst this one goes and gets food. 
This one will die. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. This is what we're talking about. That's teamwork. Oh, and you guys are not going to have any luck anytime soon, that's for sure. No sorry. Alright. Once we get this ring done, we'll have enough to go to, like, shooty girls. Shooty girls are where it's at. Boop, two more. One more. Done. Alright. Just gonna loop this. Alright. Next are shooty girls, which will be here quite quickly. They're 60, right? Yeah, 60. So, not yet, but quickly enough. Hey, how are you guys doing up there? Still getting nommed? Good to know. Excellent to see. We love to see it. We are also going to put the quick tunnel here. This isn't supposed to be a big thing. It's just supposed to be some really, really basic slots to take care of the most immediate food needs. Eventually, it will get overflowed and move back to here. On that note... We know we should have had a shooty girl, but it's fine. We will immediately get enough for shooty girls right now. Boom. Done. One shooty girl. Ah, ah, ah. Two shooty girl. Ah, ah, ah. And there you go. See? We know our Sesame Street. Alright. Yep, got a little path. The ants go merchant one by one status. Getting in your line. This is what we like to see. Okay, good. So now they can just drop their food here. And the in-house workers, the cohort and stuff, will take care of it. And, of course... Okay, good. Now all of the work back here is done. They do things one at a time, so they take things in the order that they come. At least that's what we have gathered. Or closest. We don't know or remember. It might be a combination of both. Yes. One mortar girl. Ah, ah, ah. Two mortar girl. Ah, ah, ah. Four mortar girl. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Just being quite ridiculous here, of course. And now they too can go out and serve the queen. This guy's like, hmm. Should I? I mean, I had a big lunch. Hey, what are you doing? Death. Oh boy, he's just gonna bait him back. Like you do. Looks like we're gonna be safe. Nice. Carrying them all the way back. Alright. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And soon we'll be moving on to our next fascinating endeavor big girls <laughs> oh yeah big girls it's all about them big girls now you would just be not very wise at all in any way to attack these ants while they're getting their fish 
It's that's not a smart idea you would be seeking at all. In any way. Because <laughs> they would shoot acid at you. Like a fairly terrifying amount of acid, really. <laughs> oh, yep. Traveled back. You led him all the way back. No! Oh. Oh, good. There's just another fish right here. Not even, you know, just a few centimeters away. Spooked us. Well, it's a new fish, so it's probably got all the yummies in it still. Boop. Boop. Here they come. Good. At some point very soon here, we're just gonna tear out all of the uh, other bugs. One million ants! Now we can bite all the other bugs in the yard! Ha 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 ha! That's a great meme. It's from the, uh... The Bite Lift server. The, the, ser the, the Facebook group where we all pretend to be ants in an ant colony. We're part of that one. It's a great one. It's especially fitting for this particular game. You know, for reference and stuff. Worry not. We have one more, and then the biggest girls. That's cool, we got it pretty quick. Doink, done, all right. So now big girls are done. This would be a fatal mistake. Oh no, you are dead, okay. It was a fatal mistake, That. that's real, bro. Super real. It's just some some bug food stuff. That's just a spider. Yes, good. That's our new highway, ladies. The two fish highway. Nice. Very nice. How much? Bam. Look at that. It's the two-fish highway. One little lady is going out ahead of the rest. Huh? She makes it all the way to the two-fish highway. It'll be some good stuff. She might get distracted by the seeds first. Yep. Got distracted by the seeds first. We're gonna try to direct the path directly through the fish. But it might not end up working that way. We'll see. Okay, this might effectively work. No, no, we just start fighting with other ants. So we're gonna have to spray acid at them like we do. And our food stores are almost full, so... We need to upgrade them. Bam. So much food upgrade. You just have no idea the kind of food we're gonna be rocking. By the end of this video, even. Possibly. Die! <laughs> this is some serious competition stuff, man. These are our fish. You would be best to avoid messing with our fish. Yeah. Alright. We're gonna have to do something crazy now. Real crazy. Get 
Getting the big girl chamber ready. Oh yeah. Now nothing can save the outside world. Soon our worker girls will become obsolete. And it'll be too late for them. For everybody. Oh gee, here we go. Fight all cannons! Don't let the mortar girl do it alone. Yeah, there we go. Crushing that upgrade game. Soon. Soon. The workers have done all they can oh, to improve these food stores. Okay, next. Beautiful, beautiful. It's not really worth it. This one's the one that's worth it. Bam, bam, bam. And uh, magically, our worker girls will have become obsolete, and they can stay in the colony now. And work. At least they will be able to do that the moment that our first big girls come out. Just take them down, man. Just take them down. Oh, yeah. It's going to be our big, big girl chamber. Mmm, good. All of the food storage. Oh, here we go. Now we divert all of our workers back to the colony so that they can work. We do have a worker count, as you know. And then... They'll take care of things as soon as they're back. Then they bring all the food back. At least as best as they can. Whilst we cultivate new babies. Boop. And those new babies will hatch. Three, two, one, pop. Done. Now we have the biggest girls in the game backed up by real deal mortar firepower. This is going to be fine. Meanwhile, the colony will upgrade better, faster, and be able to better defend itself. The workers have done all they can to improve these food We're stores. We're sure they think that, but they're wrong. <laughs> Boom. Look at all that. Hyper upgraded. Super Beast. Blam. Blam. Almost there. We think that actually is the best we're going to be able to get, but it's still 4,000 plus food, so it ain't no thing. We have five big girls. Soon going to be six. Soon going to be like just way more in general. So we're also, oh, interesting. We weren't thinking of becoming an aphid farmer, but we'll do our best. Yup, they're carrying it all back. Boop. And maybe give it a good old kabloop. No? No, maybe. Okay, here we go. Boop, boop. And then these will be able to go. Boop. Alright, and then finally this one. 
and blue. Good. All right. Don't know why they're just hanging around like nutters. They're fighting somebody. All right. Now our worker ladies are going to work on the honeydew. We'll have a more diverse diet. Very nice. So, what with the diverse diets and everything? We have room to expand. Oh, shoot it. Kill it. Tase it. That's what we say. The workers can't actually do anything to these guys, but they're not really here to do anything to these guys. They're just here to take care of getting as much honeydew as they can get away with. And to get fish, of course. The aphids are just, you know, like a really serious benefit. Yep. Soon, even greater force. We like the mortar girls. They're one of our favorite units. Check them out. Tase them. Won't do anything, but do it anyway. Well, we think... Oh, yeah, we were about to say, we think that these guys are going to lose because that guy's shooting from farther distance, but you know how it is. Ladies, sorry. Not, not guys, girls. Because <laughs> it does matter. It's actually a guy-girl thing with ants. Boop. Boop. More fish. Our colony survives off of fish and honeydew. For now, it seems... Yeah. Fish and honeydew. Lovely. A somewhat diverse diet. And meat. We've got some meat here, apparently. Clearly. Yeah, boy. Turn it apart. Getting that awesome highway effect going on that we all love to- What? There are three fish? Well, goodness. We we literally can't say no to that. They'll just do it automatic like. You don't want to be here, guys. Or gals. Or anybody. You're in the way. The shooting began real fast. Are these just, like, actively more things coming into our line trying to tackle us? Not gonna fly. You're gonna get ripped into pieces. Doink, doink. We are only making more big girls. Doing the best we can. Fish. Fish. Goodness. The only way to defend these fish is with more big girls. Or something, we guess. Are you Oh, okay. We're like, just you don't wanna you don't wanna do this. Like none of you want to do this, we promise. It's not us trying to screw with you or nothing. You just, you don't want to be here. It's not the smart idea to go for in life. We're just trying to get these fish before they rot away, man. Oh, did one of them actually go forward? Yep, one of them's going all the way. No, the fish is gone. Well, that's just a sad and pathetic future and truth of reality that we have to accept. Instead, I'm gonna make even more big girls. We're just gonna have crews of big girls walking around, just getting, sp you know, spraying people down with, with mortar girls right behind them. Yeah, honey goodness. Hooray. There's all the fish. There's, and the little honey blops. That's nice. So, yeah. 
Yeah, it's going pretty okay. We're not dying. We're not losing. We've got dreadfully large, amazing food stores. You guys can go back from once you came. It's cool, you know, we're not like picky or whatever. Although, if we think we have a major advantage on something, we'll still go get it. Like, would this work? Let's see. Let us see. Oh no. A thingy. Let's kill it. Don't know if we can. But we're gonna. We're, we're definitely going to in due time now that backup is here because it's just going to get torn apart and stunned to death which is unfortunate for it but don't worry yeah it, it, it gonna die it be dead it, it dead so see if we can be out one lone girl goes on the pheromone trail farther than any other girl has gone before. Traveling along the embankment, she makes her cha takes her chance. Will she be able to make it to her destined fish? We'll see. It's just the one, too. It's just the one big girl is like, nope, I am the explorer. Will she gently skirt the tiger beetles? Perhaps. Oh. Oh, that was spooky. Okay, no, she made it. She made it. Is she gonna... Is she gonna make it to her target? To the delicious fish? Guys, we think it's entirely a possibility that she will indeed make it to the delicious fish. My goodness. She's made it. Her final reward. Oh, no, she's, she's just going right past her. She's like, eh, that fish is good, but I am going for the one at the end of the road. Okay, girlfriend, you do what you gotta do. We have trust in your navigation skills. You got all the way here. Let's follow her, see if she gets all the way back. Go, girlfriend, go. Go, girlfriend, go. My goodness, she's the big girl that could. Uber creature spawned. Not going to worry us right now. Not every creature is born equal. An extremely Strip. powerful predator is nearby. The colony would do well to treat it with caution. Is she gonna make it though? That we don't care about the Uber creature. We care about if our big girl here is gonna make it without getting caught by the uh, tiger beetles. Oh my God, she might. She is. She's making it. Oh my goodness. This right here. And and she is, of course, naturally going to take the result pheromones back and be like, there is indeed food, more fish, beyond our normal fish zone. Y'all gotta come and help me with this fish. Look at that. Boom. Followed her all the way out. And all the way back. Now, she is just one among many, bringing back a pheromone signal, letting everybody know where the grub is. And we think that's where we're going to end off, because uh, it's been a respectable amount of time for this video. Oh, no. How do you seriously think you are going to make it through any part of this colony, buddy? This is... This is... You are in the way. You are in the road. And you need to know the rules of the road. Uh, yeah. So here we go. Bringing all of the food back into our lovely food repository. Where we are actually storing up quite a bit. Next time, if there is a next time for this particular episode, we will definitely expand the uh, big girl area. And then start 
grotesquely dominating literally all of the competition and the entire map, whilst cleaving out giant highways to get fish all the way over. So if you like what you saw, you like all the Science Saturday goodness, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for all notifications, and do all of those other supporty things for the channel that we love to see. Biggest thanks as always to our patrons, so consider going over down to the description, hitting up our Patreon, and uh, pleasure just a dollar a month. Thanks a bunch, remember to stay safe, stay clean, stay well fed, stay indoors, save lives, and remember, of course, that black lives matter. Bye bye